Hi guys, and welcome back to our next art tutorial. Today, what we're gonna be working with is foam stamps. And what we're gonna use is these really thin slices of styrofoam. And we're gonna use these little wooden pricks so we can draw designs into here. And then we're going to roll on our ink and see what the design shows. So what I'm gonna do is bring the camera down so you can see what the design is. And again, I'm using my gloves. I don't have to really per se use it for this, but because I have my ink so close, I'm gonna wear the gloves. So what's really nice is that you can use this wooden stick or the little pricky part at the bottom, and you can use this to create a design to impress on, on here. So all you have to do is just put a little bit of pressure. I'll get this a little closer to the camera so you can see. So I know this is white, but hopefully with the lighting, you can see that, that there's a curved line here and that's by me pressing. So if you press very lightly, you're not gonna get something very deep, but if you start putting more pressure, you're gonna get more of a deeper design inside here. And the reason I like to point that out is depending on what kind of design you want to do, you wanna keep in mind when the ink goes on here, if you have a very shallow stamp, things might look a little bit more muddled versus if you have a deeper curve on here, then more things are gonna be more defined whenever we have the results. So I don't have really anything in particular that I want to do. I'm just going to kind of wing it, I guess. Let's see. Speaking of wings, I guess I can draw a wing. And it's okay if you mess up the first time you do this because this is a skill builder and you're just practicing and you're learning how to do stuff like this. So don't take it to heart too much. There we go. And what's really nice is that if you want to put in some more definition, what you can do is kind of what we learned back in the unit one, which was uh, quarter one, where we learned about drawing and shading, you can use your hatching or cross hatching method to show really interesting designs. So let's say you may mess up down here and you've got too many lines and you're like, oh no, it's ruined. What if you were to take your tool and do a cross hatching method to show depth or shadows on here? I'll bring this to the camera a little bit closer in just a second. So if you recall, hatching is where you have parallel lines next to each other. Cross hatching is where you have the lines cross over. So that's where you're gonna see this show up with really interesting definition when we place the ink on it. So let's do this. I'm gonna do a few more hatchings, at least in the feathers of my wing. Okay, we'll see how this comes out. Maybe I want to add some more stuff to it later, but that's okay. So what I'm going to do is take my foam stamp, I'm going to roll out my ink, and carefully roll it over my design. And what's cool is that when you do this, you really get to see your design come to life. It's really hard when it's white, you don't see everything. You want to try and get a nice even coat on it where everything looks about the same shade. Luckily on black, it's pretty obvious because if it's not super black, then you know you need to put more ink. So here's our stamp design so far with our cross hatching and hatching. And now what I'm gonna do is just press it on my paper. I'm gonna use my hand and rub. And I try to keep an even pressure throughout it. So that way when I reveal the results on my stamp, it'll look cohesive. All right, so now I'm going to lift a corner. I'm gonna be very careful about just lifting it slowly. And there we go. So here's our stamp design. I'm gonna bring the book a little bit closer so you can see this. So it's a little upside down, but as you can see, depending on how much pressure you are put on here originally, you're gonna get these weird variations where it's not completely solid but you can always go back and add more if you want it. If you purposely want to overlap it, so let's say I want to do a design where I have one and then I do another on top so it kind of sees these differences between them, I'm going to go back to my rolling ink. I might have to 
put more ink down in a little bit because this is starting to dry out. Okay. Put some more ink on there. Yeah, I'm going to put some. So it's starting to dry out. When your ink starts to dry, you'll notice that it starts to lift off and flake a little bit. Just if you ever need more ink, just scoop out a little bit, not too much, roll it out, and then you should be good. So now what I'm going to do is take the same stamp design. I'm going to kind of overlap it a little bit on purpose. I'm going to try and put an even pressure throughout this. And if you want to use a roller, not the one with the ink, but like a fresh roller that doesn't have anything on it, you could use that instead of your hands to put this nice pressure. Or if you don't have a roller, you could use a clean spoon to also press down upon your stamp. All right. Again, you want to pull a corner right here. Just slowly bring it up. So you'll see how the ink starts to come off up here because it's drying out. But let me get this a little closer. So now we're having that overlap. And yes, there are some definitions that will disappear because you're overlapping ink onto other areas. But depending on what your design is or if you're using color, then this is a really fun way to go about it. Or if you want to mix colors. So let's say hypothetically, if I was working with blue and orange, I could do my stamp design with blue first, slap it on, put my pressure, peel it up. I could then use water and gently remove the ink in the sink, dry it off, use a different color such as orange, overlap it, press and lift again. And so that would really show some very interesting effects on here. But again, since we're doing a simple skill builder, we're just sticking with the black because it's simple. <laughs> but I, I really find this to be fun and interesting. And there are so many ways that you can go about this. And let's say you have, I don't know, styrofoam at home or something. Again, you can use one of these or you could use a fork or whatever, and you, you can use your nails and you can carve in a design. And same idea, you could use stamp ink, put it on there, blot it, and then press on paper. So a lot of fun things that we can come with this, but even as simple as it is, you can actually explore your options. So um, if you have any questions, obviously you know Schoology, my email, the usual, um, please ask and I can help but I am really looking forward to doing this in class because it's simple and it's fun. So why not? So again, I will see y'all next time. All right. Bye-bye.